Hellos and welcome to today's episode of Castor Claire. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to share how I make my authentic Nigerian fried rice. This is so easy to make and so yummy, guys. Look at that. So yummy. And we are using a few ingredients to make this recipe. The full ingredient list will be in the description box below. Be sure to check that out. Now, in today's episode, I'm using a quite few ingredients. The first thing we are going to be needing, of course, every fried rice should have it, is a carrot. Carrots add some sweetness to rice, and I love the taste of it to rice. And of course, green pepper. Green pepper is another spicy and flavorful ingredient that takes your food to a whole new level. Now, you can spot that lime. I'm going to tell you what that lime will do in this meal. Now, watch to the end and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share to your loved ones, okay? Give us a massive, massive, massive thumbs up. Support your goal, all right? So now, I'm going to be using chicken. Chicken is a game changer for fried rice, all right? If you're making a fried rice and you're not using chicken, then you're missing it up. Chicken is takes it to a whole new level. So I'm going to tell you how to use chicken to change the game. Now, the first thing first is to scrape your carrot. Always, always do that. Scrape it and cut it in a square, like a block in a cube form, you know, just for a nice look. I know some people grate theirs, but grating is a no-no for me for fried rice so this is the best way to prepare for your fried rice and to give it that perfect look and it make it more tasteful all right now do the same for your green pepper wash it thoroughly well discard the seed we're not using that and in this form shred or cut your pepper now i'm going to be using sweet corn this sweet corn is a can one so be sure to wash it before using it and drain it completely don't just use it straight always always wash it and drain it like so then i'll be using this can of rice for this any rice goes well so the first thing i'm going to do is to cook my chicken you must cook your chicken first because we're going to use the stock of the chicken to cook the rice. So I'm cooking the chicken first. First of all, I will season it. I will add some seasoning, my diced onion, garlic, salt taste, and um, some seasoning powder. So I'm adding all the spices just to spice things up. And then add a little water. Now, this is where the lime comes in. I'm going to add my lime to the chicken. Try this. It takes the chicken to a whole new level. Try adding lime or lemon to your chicken and cook it. You will see the flavor is something else. And the taste, they give you that unique taste that you will hardly resist. So this method always, always work. So stir it to combine, add a little water, cover and allow to cook. Then I'm going to show you the next step. So now the chicken is cooked. So I'm going to separate the chicken from the stock and set it aside. I'll start by boiling my rice and uh, once it boils, I will wash it, then boil it for the second time. So while that is boiling, I will start prepping the rest of the ingredient. So once I wash the rice for the second time, I will add the stock and I will start, I will cook it with the stock for about 10 minutes you know when it's almost getting to cook that's when you remove it otherwise your fried rice will be soggy you won't like it so you must not cook the rice must not cook 
properly well so you allow it for you know once it's about getting to that cooking point you stop so, which means you're going to add but a little water stock chicken that's why we're using chicken stock to it so if the chicken stock is not enough you can add more water but not so much of water so that it will not overcook this part is very vital for you to achieve a perfect fried rice otherwise you won't like the outcome so the first thing you're going to do in a dry pot add in your oil now i'm making this fried rice for three or four people and i'm going to fry this rice once i'm not gonna fry it you know bit by bit because it's not much just about three cups of rice so the first thing is to add your oil add your diced onion allow it to stir fry then this is my chicken that i diced i'm adding this chicken you can use this or liver so i like to have either liver or chicken so i'm improvising here because i'm not i was not able to get liver so i'm using chicken so this is when you add your green pepper followed by your carrots your diced carrot add everything and allow it to fry a little bit before adding the rice well the reason why i had to do this is because i don't want to go through the stress of doing it bit by bit so once this the ingredient is enough that will be enough for the quantity of rice you can do it once or twice and then my job is done here This is me doing the part that I love, guys. This is the taste test. This food is so delicious and so sweet. Mmm, 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 mmm. So, so good. So good, guys. And that's it from us for now. Until we come your way again, stay fabulous and extend a helping hand to one another. See you in my next video. And have a wonderful day. God bless you and bye.